Hello, my name is Claire and I'm here at Deerberg's Markets in St. Louis as part of our Healthy Eating Resources series created by Operation Food Search and SSM Health DePaul Hospital. Today, we are focusing on shopping for protein, including meat, seafood, and vegetarian proteins. Grocery shopping is an essential thing we do almost every week. Whether you're shopping for just yourself or for a large family, I have some tips to help you save money and purchase nutritious foods to fill your pantry and fridge. There are several different types of protein. Some protein sources come from animals, and others come from plants. Both types of protein can be included in our diets to help support variety and proper nutrition. Animal proteins include foods like chicken, fish, pork, beef, turkey, eggs, and dairy products. Animal-based proteins contain vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin B12 and iron but also higher amounts of saturated fat. Although fat is a necessary component of a healthy diet, it's important to limit our intake of saturated fat and get most of our fat from plant-based foods. Animal proteins contain saturated fat. Saturated fat is solid at room temperature, such as butter or the fat on a steak. A diet high in saturated fat can increase one's risk of heart disease and stroke. Some animal proteins contain more saturated fat than others. Red meat, including beef and pork, contain more saturated fat than lean animal proteins. Lean animal proteins, such as chicken, turkey, and fish, contain less saturated fat than red meat. Choose lean animal proteins most of the time and eat red meat in moderation. When enjoying red meat, pair it with fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. When possible, choose plant-based proteins that are naturally low in saturated fat and cholesterol. To save money when purchasing meat and other proteins, check out your grocery store's coupons and ads before planning meals for the week. When in the store, Browse the meat aisle and select cuts of meat that are on sale. Sirloin, top round steak, round roast, and chuck roast tend to be the least expensive cuts of meat. These cuts can be cooked in a slow cooker or at a low temperature in the oven for a longer amount of time to increase their tenderness. When selecting ground meats, pay attention to the percentage of fat it contains. Ground meat is labeled by the percentage of lean meat to the percentage of fat it contains. For example, ground meat labeled 80-20 contains 80% lean protein and 20% fat. Ground beef labeled 90-10 would include 90% lean protein and 10% fat. Therefore, the 90-10 ground beef is leaner than the 80-20. Lean ground beef usually costs more per pound. If your grocery store does not sell lean ground beef, or if it's not in your food budget, select the ground beef you can afford and drain the fat after cooking. Fish and seafood are another great source of protein. It's recommended to eat about eight ounces of fish per week. Select fish and seafood that are higher in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids can improve heart health and memory. Some fish with higher omega-3 fatty acids include salmon, tuna, mackerel, and herring. Select fresh fish that is shiny, firm, and smells like the sea. Frozen and canned varieties of fish can also be included in a healthy diet. Canned fish, such as salmon and tuna, are budget-friendly alternatives to fresh or frozen fish. Canned fish is also shelf-stable 
making for easy weeknight meals and lunches. Purchase canned fish that is packed in water instead of oil. Finally, some plants contain protein, such as beans, lentils, nuts and seeds, peas and soy products like tofu. Vegetarians and vegans rely on plant-based proteins in their diet, yet it is encouraged for everyone to consume some plant-based proteins in their diet. Plant-based proteins are also very affordable, especially beans and lentils. These proteins also contain fiber, which can improve heart health and digestion. Choose low sodium canned beans and rinse them before eating. Add cooked lentils and beans to salads, soups, stews, taco fillings, and pastas. We hope you enjoyed today's video about shopping for meat and other proteins in the grocery store. Make sure to check out our other videos as part of the Healthy Eating Resources series created by Operation Food Search and SSM Health DePaul Hospital. Thanks for watching and happy healthy eating.